Battle Armor Skeletor. So we have a new Battle Armor Skeletor just around the corner from Masterverse, and it occurred to me that a while back, I actually picked up the Battle Armor Skeletor for Origins. Now, I like Battle Armor He-Man. I like He-Man. I like Skeletor. It only makes sense to have a Battle Armor variant. And on top of the cats, it makes a lot of sense. So I've been thinking for a long time that I wanted a Battle Armor Skeletor. Well, I got one. And I got it a while back and then put it on the shelf over there and we got wound up in everything else we were talking about and this never got opened. Well, it's here right now and it's time to do so. Let's check it out. That way I have a field of reference for when I actually pick up the Masterverse Battle Armor Skeletor, I'll know what to compare it to. Plus, I really want battle armor on this shelf over here. Let's do it. So, first off, we have a very solid card back. Uh, this is customary for the line. Every single one of these that we've ever reviewed, every one of them we've ever talked about, there it is. That's what we expect. And I love retro card backs. I actually think they're my favorite kind of packaging. I really like these Masterverse packages here, but... In all seriousness, this is what I grew up with. This is what makes the most sense. Now, I know the argument with plastic and things like that. I get it. And maybe it is just a nostalgia thing. I'm willing to admit that. But for inbox collectors, I really feel like that is the best. That's the entire piece count right there. That's the figure you bought. There's absolutely nothing that you can't see. It easily hangs on the wall. It's perfect. And all this artwork is usually supreme on one of these cards. The other thing is that the cross cell on the back is usually solid. Now we haven't gone over an Origins cross cell in a minute, so let's see. Battle Armor He-Man. I don't have it, but I don't want it. If I found it on clearance for very, very little money, I would consider it. And that is the only way because as it stands right now, I got the battle chest one where, so I do have a battle armor He-Man and that battle armor He-Man actually has chrome armor and he's, I just find him to be superior. Yes, I don't get that lightning effect, but I actually don't feel like I'm missing out. She-Ra, I have her. Uh, Roboto, I don't have him and I don't know how worried I am about him. He's not necessarily one of my all-time favorite designs, so getting him for Masterverse will probably be enough for me. Battle Armor Skeletor? Well, of course. Merman. I do actually want a Merman. I would like an Origins Merman for the shelf, so I will be picking one up at some point. Zodak, I don't know how much I care about him. Uh, Clamp Champ, I don't know how much I care about him. In Origins. I have to stress that because I do want a Clamp Champ in Masterverse. Both cats, I have all four of them. Uh, the, the What I'm talking about is I have Battle Cat, then I have Battle Cat from the Battle Chest, then I have Panthor, then I have Flocked Panthor. So I have all four Battle Cats. Okay, let's open him. All right, so first off, came with this mini comic and I didn't have this one so that is legit awesome like I'm I'm actually really happy to have this because I've been trying to I, I I'm trying to get at least one person from each wave luckily enough I like at least two or three characters from every single wave and then that gives me the books and then I can keep up with all the books that have been released to say this guy is almost instantly one of my favorite Skeletors would honestly kind of be an understatement this is awesome like I like this battle armor he's an actual character no well, how do I put this um I was worried because the last couple special Skeletors I bought or whatever, like a Skeletor and a He-Man, they had the action effects. I don't like action effects. I prefer action 
uh, sorry, the action, I, I prefer action effects, not action features. And what I mean by that is if he's going to have like a lightning bolt or something like that, I'd rather him have like a lightning bolt. I don't want like a thing where, uh, where he has like a clicking thing or something like that where he spins around. But to be fair, this guy does have an action feature and it is actually really cool. So I, I, I think when it's incorporated and it doesn't affect the, uh, if it doesn't affect the movement, I like it. That's that's a big part of it. Is it, it has to not affect the way that the figure works. If it screws up the articulation to have the action effect, I don't want it. Uh, but this is the action effect. Is you hit this in, it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. Let me put it that way. Because look, uh, I'm going to hit it. Oh, okay. No, it does work. Nope. Okay. That's fine. It's just that this sword, that's a problem. Uh, this sword is like, this sword is the, the one that came with like version one Skeletor. It's already, it's in half. It's in two pieces, which makes me feel like the, the battle armor He-Man with, that's not chrome probably doesn't get a complete sword. Now this will be fine because I think I have a complete sword that I can give to him because if I'm going to put him on one of the battle cats, what I would like is for him to be on the battle cat with this shield because this shield is cool. I, I really like this actually. I like that it's like a shield that is his shield. They didn't just repurpose the He-Man shield and make it purple. And then of course, I'm not going to have this on the battle cat or rather, sorry, Panthor, I'd rather have this set up on Panthor along with his battle armor. That's the way that I feel about this one specifically. Of course you fall down. Um, another thing that I'm really liking, this face. This face is awesome. Like, I love that grumpy face. This looks like somebody asked him a question and he found it really stupid and he was like, are you, are you serious? Like, I really like this face. This might be one of my, this, this, this might be one of my favorite Skeletor faces right now. He also comes with a standard Skeletor head. Uh, the standard Skeletor head from version two of Skeletor that was released in this line. Cause version one is the dumb face Skeletor. And I love dumb face Skeletor. This is regular Skeletor face. And this right here is the grumpy, grumpy head. Awesome. I don't have a whole lot to say here other than this is awesome and those couple things that I pointed out. I wish this feature worked a little bit better. It seems to work better on He-Man chrome battle, uh, battle armor. I don't know about the regular battle armor, but I could tell you from this, this guy right here that this feature doesn't seem to work as well as the chrome He-Man one does. So that's a little bit of a cause for concern, but not that much. It does work. It just doesn't seem to work as well. You got to mess with it a little bit, but not, not devastatingly. Like there, I got it to work. See? And then to put it back, I just kind of pull it down. And that's kind of what I'm getting at is it's a little, little tougher to do that, but it's, it's still not a big deal. Um, that's what I've got. So not a whole unbelievable lot to say here, other than I knew that I wanted him. I got him. I've had him for a while. We never opened him. And I like battle armor. I like battle armor in general, not just that it has to be on Skeletor or something like that. I think it's cool. Now with the barbarian fantasy, uh, we, we've talked about this before. I prefer He-Man to be He-Man. I'm not a big, huge fan of like dressing him up and a whole bunch of stuff and whatnot. And the same with Skeletor. Uh, the same with all the girls too, for what it's, for what it's worth. I like barbarian fantasy. I always have, and I probably always will. And I grew up in a time where all the eighties barbarian fantasy was a thing. And that's where my mind goes with that kind of material. But if you do the armor right and keep it to the barbarian style, such as Conan the Barbarian for a while, wore that blue chainmail thing in the original Marvel years, that was cool. 
because it didn't really sacrifice the rest of his look. He was still, it was still a bloody book. He still like rode into battle. He had his arms exposed. He would still take hits and everything like that. You would still see blood. It was still a very visceral type of thing. Um, I think this is important for the barbarian fantasy or it doesn't necessarily work. It is a macho escape for what it's worth. And if you take that away and overprotect the warrior, now we're moving into knights type of fantasy. And it's not a knight fantasy, it is a barbarian fantasy. It sits separate from that. If we're going with a D&D &D knight type of fantasy with knights, you're probably moving into things like Skyrim and stuff of that nature. Uh, the Elder Scrolls has a full armored look. That works for that kind of escape. It doesn't work necessarily for this kind of escape. Except for Motu is one of those properties that's incredibly malleable and can do basically anything it wants. There, are, there is room in Motu for some characters to be more heavily armored. Take Man-at-Arms. Man-at-Arms can literally wear Iron Man suits and it fits, it works, it's okay. But I do prefer my Skeletor to be like this. I think they hit a very nice balance and I think that's what makes me like him so much is it gave me the battle armor I was wanting, it put skulls on it, it's black, it's menacing, it's dark, it's cool, and I lost nothing in the translation. He's still very much barbarian fantasy. This is awesome. But the only thing I could say is it would be cool if he had like a cloak or a cape on top of this look. Which wouldn't be hard to add. I could do that myself. But that's about the only thing that I feel he's missing. This is really cool. That's all I've got. Short video today. Let me get out of here. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.